this is our 2021 uh, Rubicon Gladiator. Um, and I wanted to build it exactly like iDrive, which is what we eventually came out with. So for the power train, we decided on the America's Most Wanted uh, Hellcat package. So it's a 707 uh, supercharged uh, Hemi. So the, uh, an another additional question that we get, you know, fairly often, uh, which is uh, almost every day, is, you know, is the is that too much power? Are we here? You know, that's that's silly, um, or it's it's stupid, really, to put that much power. You're wasting it. Um, I can tell you that, you know, driving this around and driving the SRT around, uh, it's not. Uh, honestly, the horsepower, the way this is built. It handles exactly like I would expect this truck to handle. Um, it's, you know, driving around the city, it does not overheat. We've, we've done all the cycles. We've let it sit out uh, in, the, in the parking lot of the restaurant while we're eating for 30, 40, 45 minutes. Um, we use it on a daily basis in the city, in Houston, sitting in traffic, you know, driving on the freeway. I've driven this, you know, to Dallas and back, to New Orleans and back. It drives exactly like the Gladiator did before we started, but with quite more pep. It comes with an NP95 transmission. Uh, the transmission that comes out of a Trackhawk is essentially the one that comes with the drivetrain itself. Uh, the transfer case actually is the Rubicon transfer case. With keeping in mind the power uh, from all the builds we've done in the past, we know for a fact that the you know, factory 44s are never going to be able to handle that much power. Uh, and the fact that, you know, once we build one, we know that the customer is going to get in it and stomp on the gas exactly like, like we do, right? Those stiff factory 44s are not going to be able to handle that. We've already proven that. We, you know, we've already snapped a few of them just in, in that testing process. So we wanted to step it up and put a set of, you know, a set of axles underneath, in, underneath it that could actually handle that power. And you can actually drive it like you want to on road and off road. Uh, so for this build, we decided on the uh, UD60s uh, front and rear, uh, 538 gears, uh, the electric lockers. Um, for the drive shafts, we went with uh, JE Reel. Uh, for steering, we chose the Fusion 4x4, 2.5 ton uh, tie rod and drag link, uh, along with the PSE Hydro Assist Kit. For suspension, for the front, we have the Evo Manufacturing Double Throwdown uh, with the long arms in the front and the bolt-on coilover kit uh, for the rear. Um, all eight control arms with adjustable uh, Evo Manufacturing arms, um, along with the King bumps front and rear as well. For the armor, for exterior armor, we went with the Evo Manufacturing uh, front uh, pro bumper with skid plate. Uh, these are aluminum. For the fenders, we have JCR uh, fenders. The Evil Manufacturing bombers for the side. Uh, and then in the rear, we have the aluminum Evil Manufacturing uh, bumper as well. Tire and wheels, uh, this is our preferred tire and wheel. Uh, we run this in the majority of the packages we have. Uh, we're a big niddle shop. Uh, for this one, we have uh, the 40 inch niddle trail grappler uh, on the KMC 17 inch uh, machete. So the, the major differences for us and the customers we have uh, for the, that mild Gladiator build, you know, they want to throw on the, uh, you know, small lift with 37s, right, just to get it out the door, uh, and they drive it, but they, it's not as comfortable as what they essentially assumed it would be. Uh, for this, you know, throwing on, you know, the double throw on the front uh, is what, you know, coilovers allows you to, you know, adjust the ride how you want it, right? That's always the, the best benefit, as well as being able to put these 40s. 
to me and to the majority of our customers, you know, even 37s do not look like they fit the truck correctly. 40s to me and 40s to the majority of the, you know, the folks we've even spoken to, you know, 40s just or what fits is what the tr makes the truck look like it's supposed to, honestly. Um, I mean, even the 42s, we've had the 42s uh, on this one as well, and it just works. So the major question we get on the phone almost every single day in the shop is, you know, how much is this, how much does this cost? Uh, we get a lot of trolls for that information. We get a lot of questions and, and we're very upfront. Uh, we use the best of the best uh, for the build. I mean, if you look at the build sheet, it, it, it's very straightforward. Um, you know, if you're gonna build something like this with 40s, you know, the engine, uh, the steering, uh, you're looking, you know, for a package anywhere from 150 to 170. I, I know that's, that's a lot of investment for someone to make into a vehicle, but when you put it, you know, pen to paper, that's exactly how much it costs to actually build, you know, something like this. And I can tell you the, the, the you know, the dozen or more that we've built like this, you know, every, every person that we've done them for has a smile on their face and, you know, they, they call to, you know, you know, thank us for the build as well as tell us how much they enjoy it and, you know, pass that information on to their friends. Uh, we're on Tactical Off-Road on all social media um, or tacticaloffroad.com. You can look up all the bills we have on our website uh, as well as uh, our telephone number is 832-879-2130. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my latest Inside Line feature. I want to say thanks again to CJ for taking the time out and uh, really <laughs> ripping on that uh, Hellcat powered Gladiator to kind of show me what it had. It was a very cool thing to see up close. Uh, really impressed with the fact that not only does that power just allow you to shred 40s off-road, but realistically it doesn't overheat. Uh, that's a big deal. My experience with the JK platform is that they have often been plagued with overheating issues, whether it's a 6.4 or 5.7. Um, they just never seem to get that perfect uh, on the trail. And it seems like America's Most Wanted 4x4 has done a great job of figuring out the cooling requirements that these things really need and making them uh, really usable. So kudos to them, really awesome platform. Tactical Off-Road did a fantastic job building that Gladiator and I really wanted to showcase it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. We have a lot more uh, Gladiator builds and features coming up. So if you like off-road rigs and reviews, this is a great spot for that. Uh, if you have any questions for me, you can always find me at Ollie Mansour Editor on Instagram. And until next time, I hope to see you guys on the trail soon. Take care, bye-bye.